My name is Jeremy Day. I'm the Chief Technical Officer for Corrosion Innovations. I've got Matt Valentine with me here today. He's the Vice President of Sales for the company. Uh, as you may know, we are the manufacturers for the test kits for Chlorid. We also manufacture all the liquids for Chlorid and Hold Tight and Core Z. Today, we're going to talk about contamination. As you know, any surface contamination that might be present on the work surface can cause early coating failure, and that's something that we're trying to prevent out there. So Matt's going to demonstrate our Chlor test kit, which is the test kit that we use for chlorides on the surface. Uh, Matt will be wearing gloves. Uh, we want to make sure that you understand that contamination, cross-contamination is possible during these tests, so you always want to protect the surface, the test kit uh, assembly pieces, and your hands from any kind of cross-contamination between the tests. So I'll turn it over to Matt. He's going to demonstrate our Chlor test kit, which is the chloride test kit for surfaces. This test kit here is our standard Chlor test kit for chlorides on steel substrates, on steel surfaces. This is our standard five test kit. We, we also sell these in bulk kits as well. Uh, so what we do is basically just sell you the packets only. The test kit comes includes the testing tube, the extract material, the sleeve, and this little tool here is tape, usually taped at the top of the lid here. It's used to break the ends off of the tube. As you notice, I'm wearing gloves. You wanna make sure that you do not contaminate the tubes. You never touch either end of the tube, so you get a true reading. So we're gonna test on this steel panel here. Uh, it has been uh, salted, so we should get some results out of it. I'm not sure what the reading will actually be, but I'm gonna walk through the, the, uh, the actual testing process. So what you'll do is you'll take the sleeve out of the packet. Once you've filled the sleeve with the extract material, I've already peeled the top paper off the, the uh, foam ring. You'll put it onto the surface and make sure that you seal it, push it, the foam down in, put pressure on it to make sure it stays sealed. Once you've done that, then you'll release the fluid, the extract material to the surface and you'll massage the surface. And what you're doing with this process here is you're actually working the material, the extract material, onto the surface to remove the salts. Now this is done over a two minute period, and I'm sure that uh, at that particular time you will pull the majority of the materials off. As you notice, you at times you may have a little bit of uh, leakage. Uh, the, the main concern is to have enough material at the end of the test to uh, fill the uh, test tube. For purposes of this, I'm gonna pull it off early and just show you how the test is done. At this particular time, you use the tool that's used, that's taped to the top of the lid and you use it, once you get all the liquid out, you'll use it to pull or actually scrape the foam ring off the surface. As you can see, we did have a little bit of leakage. There's still plenty in here to do the test. Now the box is set up to punch out the hole at the top. That holds your sleeve in place. Now you'll take the tube, again, you, you do not want to touch either end of the tube. You'll take the tool with the hole on the end of the tube and always break away from you. You should have safety glasses on. And you break the end of that off and you do the same on the other side. So we have the tube in here again. You don't you don't want it to sit on the bottom, so because it won't allow the the extract material to wick into the tube. Um, you have an aspirator tube that comes with the test kit. This is only really to be used if it's not wicking up in a reasonable amount of time. You can use it to aid the uh, wicking process. Yeah. So you we, you know it's a chemical. It's an instant chemical reaction. So you don't want to rush that process. So it's got to. To, to slowly come up the sleeve. As you can see here, it's coming up the tube now. It's just about at the end. And again, you wait till that whole process is done. And you know it's complete when the top of this tube changes color uh, from white to yellow. Yeah, it's like a yeah, yellowish color. So now that the material, the extract material has uh, wicked all the way to the top, the test is complete. And how you can tell what your salt content is 
is the tube itself has, has got numbers on the tube itself and it tells you wherever the discoloration line is, tells you what your parts per million is. And this particular one is right around nine, almost 10 ppm assaults. And I don't know if you can see that on the tube. Oh, Jeremy, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that one? I concur. Sounds good. <laughs> that completes our standard chlor test kit for chlorides.